You a vlogger, facing over You a queen when I less than I'm a goose Oh wami, oh wami Oh wami, oh wami Oh wami, oh wami Oh wami, oh wami Such a powerful woman. Hi ninjas, how are you doing? It's a girl, or oh, I mean this was all AK Miss Bear for called Prime Back for all entertainment. If it's over time, Jenny Mill is the welcome. Please do make sure that I subscribe and obviously hit the bell. I absolutely love you. And do not forget to follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. It's at boldly or me. Now my ninjas, welcome back, and I feel happy to be back, even though I'm bit I'm a bit late, but at least I am back. I wanna go ahead and say thank you guys so much for all the love and all the support that I saw on you know the five part series of um you know the rich man's offense um i have i had just been dealing with a lot you know i had been breaking out i saw someone comment in another video to say oh i mean please stop using whatever you're using and it's not really about the products it's because i was really stressed and i was going through somewhat a depression and my skin usually doesn't handle well you know i get pimples and i struggle to not pop my pimples and so that's why um i have so many you know pimple scars right now but i have gone back to like my normal skincare routine and i'm feeling a lot better so hopefully um you know my skin is gonna get back to its you know um and the other thing again that i want to say is that i really want to apologize to my ninjas that are only here for entertainment videos because we did not have those for a week which um if you're not interested in any other content that should have been horror i'm really sorry for that um and also i am sorry to my ninjas that got triggered because i know that was very triggering um i am really sorry some of you guys could not finish you had to watch rest and you know crying i know um how it is you know the emotions and everything so i am really sorry but you guys are a little so sort of like my therapist so whenever i talk to you guys i feel better so i'm sorry i'm sorry okay but anyway managers today let's go back to the entertainment videos and we're gonna start off with Pori Pori. we're gonna talk about central and we're also going to talk about el tido now I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys that I did see a clip, you know, in this clip, it is a trail that went to El Tido's um, uh, 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 podcast, right? When he gets there, obviously, they're talking. The part now comes where they're asking him about, you know, manish, manish, coin tani, okay? And El Tido basically, I mean, as a trail says that, well, he took 100% of the money. Do you understand? Now, at this point, no one's name has been spoken. And, um, you know, Cetril is talking about how he knows where, you know, he comes from. You know, the part where you would actually drink water and your stomach grows. Like, it, it hurts because you don't have food and all that. And, you know, just the injustice and the unfairity of, um, you know, our especially upcoming artists that did not know um, that get taken, uh, that get taken. Th that get um taken advent advant advantage of why can't i speak <laughs> what's going on you know they get taken advantage of and um so basically you know that was that now mind you guys it's in a podcast and um no one's name was said now cinderella keka loku shibobo okay cinderella comes and this is what cinderella dj maporisa then um says <laughs> Um, he says, maybe he's talking about other fruit months with a heartbroken emoji. This young man needs help. I remember him not going to the music video. Yeah, um, the Mtuba John Wick. I knew we were going to have a problem here. Self-sabotage and karma from all the promoters. You effed not pitching those gigs. And F L T do mm, no more, son. You know? Um, now in there, DJ Maporista has actually attached, he did attach, um, a payment. I'm sure I'm going to uh, put something here, but obviously the amount has been blurred, um, including the account number, which I personally feel like you could have left the amount so that we see exactly how much you gave him. Cause if you gave him 200, you could, it can be 200, it can be 150. We do not know. It can be 30 rand. We do not know. You understand what I'm saying? And then also, there's also another one where he actually shows 
details, um, you know, their account number and, uh, you know, their songs and stuff like that. And then, you know, the, 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 then he says, which I am assuming would be central, said thank you and stuff like that. Now, of course, Eltido saw this and he said, Pori, you are a fucking <clears throat> effing coward. Marita how I literally didn't say shit about you. Deal with the people you robbing, not me. There's a lot of strong language up over here. And I think that for me, um, I'm getting to a point where I'm just really starting to feel like my is just not a good person, you know, especially when it comes to money. He might be maybe a good person when it comes to other stuff. But then again, allegations are saying he's a woman beater. We even have a picture of him in court. So I think my is just a horrible human being. I think so. Okay. And this freedom of speech, I have a right. I think he's just not really a good person. You know, um, he has been in, in, in scandals of, of money and him taking advantage and him talking about how his electricity, his food, his masters and this and that. I don't think that he's a fair man, you know, when it comes to money and all that. But I think the one thing that he's also not realizing is that due to the fact that like people have exposed him so much a lot of people those are upcoming and you know they are banging and all that i don't think they're gonna want to work with him and him by himself i feel like Mamporisa used to be somebody that um you know he used to give us bangers and stuff like that i can't remember when last he actually gave us a banger and it was just him and i remember um you know uh meg g actually spoke of something like this that was when i actually started to sit down and be like wait a minute when has it really just come and it's just DJ Maporisa and it's him, it's the lead, he's, it's his music? Um, it's been a while, I think, you know? So um, I, I do agree to a certain extent with what Meg had said that, you know, this, it seems like the guy is basically riding um, on newcomers that are still having fresh ideas and all that. But because of, like, he's doing things the way that he's doing, I feel like most people are definitely going to just take a step back and they're going to, you know, like, set back, basically. You know, and they're not going to go to him. And um, social media right now, like, it's a great tool. You are able... I don't know how the music industry works, but I know that you can literally go viral like just on social media, TikTok, if you're doing um, great music. You can post your music um, on, fa on, on YouTube, and you can do well. You can make your money with all these other platforms and stuff like that. And you don't have to be uh, getting uh, into situations where you might possibly even get scammed by people like... You know, him. Allegedly, you know. But here, I feel like, in all honesty, he is playing Cinderella. Because if they did not mention your name, then why are you coming out and even insulting El Tudor's mother? Why are you so pressed? Why are you so touched? Because your name wasn't in it. So which means the shoe must have definitely fit. You know, um, so I think that Maburisa needs to just honestly do better. I think that Maburisa honestly just needs to do better. Um, I did see someone also like over there on Twitter that actually said, um, I watched that podcast. El Tito never said anything about Pori. Pori is scared of confronting um, Meg G, who's been talking about him blindly. But he's quick to bully El Tito. Nafe, Maporisa, Skabaso, you know. Um, and then somebody said, stand on your ground, El Tido. Don't be bullied. If you, you need me to step in with additional swear words for him, tell me. <laughs> like, tell me. <laughs> you know. Um, somebody then said, getting El Tido to get out of character shows you are really an evil Mother effer, okay? Pori is so gross. It's giving South African daddy, okay? The last one that I will actually read here um, is says, notice how it's only Madumane who never complained about being exploited by Pori. <laughs> but the result, a lot of people have actually come out and they've spoken about Mamporisa. This is the same person that, you know, allegedly was turning his girlfriend into part of the WWE raw. Without her permission, you know, 
check slam and choking them necks like that from the allegations that were actually here. So I just don't think that he's a good person. I really honestly don't. And I think that new upcoming artists should know and learn and just never go to him. Um, if you're a horrible person, go on out there and keep continuing making your music. Let's see how far you're actually really going to, to go when you're by yourself, you know, because they do say, if you want to go fast, go alone. But if you want to go far, go together you know and i think that he 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 has the skill he does have the skill he does have the uh, the equipment he does have the knowledge you know because he also started from no way. Like, I, there's a picture of him that I saw um, of a long time ago. He was not this poor now, you know. Like, he also at one point did not have. But I think that he really does take advantage, um, you know, of this upcoming or, you know, this newcomers that also don't know much. And I think he promises them heaven and earth. Or he rather convinces them to take the lowest deal that they actually can. And then he knows, obviously, their worth. That's why he would record with them and you know put in um that effort so for me i just think that the guy is not really a good person and in my personal opinion i think that if you're an upcoming artist as i'm saying don't go to him try other people i don't think that he is the good or the best fit but for the fact that you know mcg has been talking about my for the longest and he doesn't really fully like come out like that um, at him, but then he's out here like already insulting Eltido's mom. Um, meanwhile, Eltido and 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 and, and said true never mentioned his name. At least they gave him that respect. They never mentioned his name. You know, he went out there, walked Haniko Small Street, and made himself Cinderella. The first shoe that he saw that fit, he wore it. You know, and that's honestly like what I'm just seeing. That I don't. There's no need that he should have been out here even insulting LTJ. LTJ is doing his job. He's asking questions. And everyone over there, both of them were very respectful to not even say his name. Okay. And the next thing is going to come out here with some stupid, stupid proof of payments that we don't even see the amount. Honey, that could have been money for anything. You know, you could have said, oh, hey, uh, go and buy us food. The one that you make sure that the moment they eat that food, you own them right, or you own the masters, um, and send 50 rand, how do we know, because we didn't even see the amount, so for me, I'm just saying that, I don't think Paul is a good person overall, and everybody that is going to be working with him needs to just be too damn careful, okay, but anyway, do go ahead and comment down below what you guys think, and um, yeah, do you, like, Paul is wrong, and why do I even have to ask you guys, because, sir, who said your name, and why are you insulting someone's mom? Anyway, I love you ninjas. Stay blessed. And please do make sure that you comment what you guys think. And I will see you guys in my next upload. Bye ninjas.